let's go ahead and learn the differences between a rookie, an intermediate and a pro level dashboard. There's a common misconception that a pro level dashboard is defined by more technical calculations or just having a really good design. But the reality is you're not always presented complicated business logic or have the time to create a really unique design. So does that mean all of those reports are not pro level? Well, the reality is there's a lot more to what defines a pro level dashboard and it's not always more complicated logic or calculations. So let's go ahead and take a look at three levels of report, starting off at a rookie to an intermediate to a pro level to learn the techniques that pros have learned over the years and juniors simply do not understand yet. So let's go ahead and accelerate your learning and take your reports to that next level. If you'd like the files, you can find that in the description, sign up and go to the community tab and over there you can download the files that I'm using in this video. And feel free to follow along, that's probably the best way to learn. Let's go ahead and look at the differences between our different levels, starting off with visual scale. So when we take a look at our rookies, they do not have a good understanding of scale when it comes to their visuals. So for example, let's head over to that report. What we can see is they have a visual that goes up to 30 million, but the majority of their values are sub 2 million. Now rookies do not account for these anomalies or massive variances in their data. So that can lead to a lot of insight being hidden within the actual chart. So they don't understand scale and how to use it effectively. Then we look at charts like this donut chart where they have far too many subcategories of a similar value. So this isn't actually giving us much insight. And when we actually compare this to our more mid-level report, what we can see is that intermediate developers, what they understand is how to use scale and they use it effectively where the data is not skewed and you can essentially see the information in a correct way. But the pros, they really take this to the next level. So if we take a look at our pro report, what we can see is that they use scale to actually add insight to the data, not take away. So for example, in this visual, we can see it's a distribution and we have the lowest values and then the highest values. What this distribution is showing us is where the concentration sits uh, within our, our data set. So pros are able to really use scale to take their visuals to the next level. Instead of having insights missed, they know when to use it correctly. So that brings us on to the next telltale sign of a rookie report, which is color. So in our rookie report, color is just essentially meaningless. So let's go ahead and take a look. So rookies do have a color palette, but they're not defined in any meaningful way where the colors are used to actually give us more insight. It's purely just aesthetic. And then when we look at the colors themselves, it's not a professional color palette where they're not complementary colors. So for example, this blue and these blues, they do not go on the same color palette. It's just simply a blue. And the problem with that is that makes the data a lot harder to read because it's not easy on the eye and the colors just simply aren't aiding the user. Now, when we look at our more intermediate report, what we're going to find with our more mid-level developers is that color palettes are essentially just spot on. We're going to see that colors are matching where they actually draw and further enhance our reports, not actually take away from them. And then they actually start to use conditional formatting to draw our eyes into certain areas. So we can see that here we're using red to demonstrate where our lowest or least profitable periods are. So intermediate or mid-level developers have an understanding of color palettes. It has meaning, overall it's just consistent and they're starting to take their reports to that next level. But then when we look at our pro dashboard, we're going to see pros really know how to use color. So for example, here we can see that the lower half or the lower part of our data, that's red. And over here we have clear call to actions where we can see where the lowest groups are within our different categories. So color in our pro dashboards is very effective at enhancing the story and making it easier for our users to actually just see what they need to see without actually them having to dig for it. So pros have got color nailed. That brings us on to our next section, which is visual clarity. Now there's a set of principles by Edward Tuft. Visuals should be so self-explanatory that you don't need to have additional data points or data labels. The information is just very much clear within the visual. Now, when we take a look at our rookie report, what we're going to find is our data labels one, there's just far too many, but our titles, our labels, we're not effectively using data labels and our visuals, which leads to a lot of clutter. Now, when we look at our more mid-level developer, what we're going to find is they have a better understanding of these principles. So for example, in our chart here, we can very clearly see that we have our month names, we have our data labels, 
and red in general is a very clear indicator of bad so we can see that these are the bad marks we don't need any additional data labels to really tell that story the visuals does it himself now when we take a look at this chart we can see customers and then the data labels and our business groups so the visuals are self-explanatory so this is something that intermediate and pros do very very well so when we take a look at our pro report what we can see is they have a combination where they really take it to that next level so for example here this is an age chart so we have customer distribution it's very clear with the high level the distribution and then when we look at our breakdown we're essentially just having statements debt credit limit average they're using labels very effectively to enhance the story and make it very easy to read. Trolls have this nailed by using other visuals and very clear titles to really make their visuals uh, consumable. So that is a clear difference between our pros and our juniors. So let's move on to the next set of differences. But before we do, you've made it this far into the video. So I think 70% of you are not subscribed, so it does really help the channel. But let's just go straight on to the next one. So. Pros have mastered the three-step storytelling technique. So they have a high level, a narrative, and then a call to action. So let's go ahead and understand the differences and how it's been used differently in our free reports. So if we take a look at the rookie report, we can immediately see that it's following a very boxy grid structure. So we have visual, visual, visual. There's no connection between them and the visuals are simply just placements on the page. Now we might have a few card visuals, but they're not connected to any element and it's not clear what that narrative is. But then if we move on to our more intermediate report or a mid-level report, what we see with our more mid-level reports is a better layout by the use of zones. So we can see we have a zone here, a zone over here and a zone over here. And these are essentially connected elements that help tell that story. So for example, over here we have shipping breakdown and then what a typical order size is. Now, order sizes and shipping breakdowns are related because you make an order and it goes to a shipping method. So that's zone one. Then we have our sales and then over here we can see our least profitable periods. So we can see the concept of zones really makes this data more easier to consume. So our mid-level developers have really understood that, but they're not taking the zones really to that next level where they're telling a complete story. So let's go ahead and take a look at our pro dashboard where they really take it to the next level. So immediately we can see it follows a zone structure. So we have our zones, but when we look at the three-step storytelling technique, they really have this nailed. So we have our customers, the average age, so that's our high level. Then when we look at this visual, this is the narrative. So we can see the age distribution across all of our customers. So the high level is linked to this element. Then our action is very clear. We have conditional, we have conditional formatting that is giving us actions based on our various dimensions. So debt, so we have debt by age and we can immediately see which age groups are in low debt, which age groups are in high debt. Now ideally I should change this around, so let me quickly do that. So we can see where our highest debt level groups are. It's very clear what the narrative is there, starting from the high level to the distribution and then call to actions against various metrics. Now it doesn't have to be in this layout, but the call to action should be something that your end user can then take away from the report and actually do or look into. Now our mid-levels haven't understood this concept yet and our juniors just don't do it at all. And I'm going to add, and let's add a bonus difference, our titles. So for example, our rookies have sales by month, name and category, sales by subcategory, sales by subcategory. It's essentially just the X and Y axis in the title. Now, that is not the most effective way to tell a story. There's nothing wrong with it, but you can really take your reports to the next level by being slightly more creative with your titles where they essentially explain the visual without you having to list it. So for example here, we have sales performance, then our legend tells us that this is sales. Now our intermediate reports aren't always the clearest, so let's go ahead and take a look at our pro reports where they really nailed how to tell compelling titles. So when we take a look at our pro report, we can see they are much more creative when it comes to their titles. So for example, when do our customers open accounts? Now that forces the user to actually look at the data because it's not listing it, it's a question and naturally humans 
listeners want to answer questions. So we start looking at the visual and it's self-explanatory. We have a heat map, the colors indicate the open and how dense it is. We don't need to list every single data field. Then when we look at our visual here, we have age. So it's very clear so this visual is about age. And then we have a question that once again, that directs our users to look at the visual. So what are our age demographics? And we can see it shows the distribution very well. Now, when we pose it as a question, it really forces your user to look at your visuals and our pros have really nailed this.